Hello everyone, a very warm welcome from Genex Parenting. Today I am at a very interesting place and going to meet some interesting people. People who lay cornerstone for our personalities, for our careers. You are right, our teachers. Pandemic times have been difficult for all of us, especially for our children. Their school time, their play time, their social upbringing has got deeply impacted. Thanks to technology, without which survival would have been impossible. Moreover, thanks to our teachers for ensuring the adaptability to the new normal and making sure that learning doesn't stop. This Teacher's Day, I'm going to meet teachers who deal with the naughtiest, the craziest, yet most creative age group. <laughs> You're right, our preschoolers. I'm at Millennium Star Kids Thani and here interacting with teachers to understand that how they dealt with this tough time and ensured that they deliver their best. Watch this video till the end for some mind-blowing facts. I'm sure it will help you choose the best one for your little one. Uh, hello teachers, a very happy Teachers Day to all of you. Uh, really great to get back to school and having this back to school vibe and um, hope our kids also get to feel it soon. Hi Lena, thank you so much for the Teachers Day wishes. We are also very excited to see our kids back. Hopefully they are going to come back to school very soon. Uh, so let me come straight to the question. Um, MSK being a pre-school institution, what were the challenges as far as virtual schooling is concerned? Yes, it's a very interesting question Lena. Uh, virtual schooling was not easy for us. Uh, there were many many challenges. <clears throat> the first and foremost was to train ourselves, to train our teachers. Right For that we have done a lot of research, we have attended a lot of webinars by the special educators, we have joined the ECA that is Early Childhood Association. They were also having a good platform about the virtual session, how to go for it, how to conduct. Right. So after getting a lot of confidence and using a good platform for our teachers and giving them a lot of proper training, then only we started our virtual classes. Second thing was how to convince the parents as we were dealing with very, very small lot of age group that is three to five years. Parents were very apprehensive about the age. They were not sure whether the child is going to sit in front of the camera for such a long time, how we are going to conduct, what content we are going to teach them, how is it possible that instead of physical school, virtual school is going to be conducted and the child is going to learn the things which they were learning in the physical school. So convinc convincing them was the biggest challenge for us. We have done a lot of uh, meetings with them, we have done online sessions with them, we have given them the free demos to convince them that it is possible if they support their child. Third thing was, <clears throat> we were not sure how to do our curriculum online because we are dealing in a pre-primary and pre-primary is basically famous for social emotional development, it is famous for, uh, what do you say, uh, as fine motor activities, gross motor activities, event celebration. So how to take all those things in online? So we need to prepare ourselves before we go to the online session and we have really done it very, very successfully. I think you can also answer that question. Your children are with us from last two years and they are learning in a good pace and they're learning everything, whether it is a uh, event celebration or it is a birthday celebration, we are doing everything online also. Last thing which we were really worried about that the government, how government is going to take this because from many states we were getting the news we are not allowed to have a virtual session for the pre-primary. But we were sure about it, in Maharashtra nothing happened like this as we have also taken into consideration it is not going to be 3 hours session. As for the age it is going to be only 45 minutes to 1 hour session or 1 hour 15 minute session. So that helped us a lot, parents were also happy with this productive virtual learning and we did it. That's a great idea. The question would be to Meena ma'am that uh, what were the steps taken by uh, Millennium Star Kids to ensure smooth adaptation to virtual schooling? In MSK we strongly believe in teamwork. We had arranged for different teams such as the technical team, the active teachers team and the passive teachers team and we have shared our responsibilities among all of them. Uh, secondly, uh, we had uh, uh, arranged for rigorous training for our teachers. 
also we were had we have worked very clo closely with our parents and we have sh conducted uh, PTMs and even one on one virtual meets to share our plans and ideas with them from time to time. Uh, thirdly, uh, we had uh, gone stepwise in conducting and knowing more about how to go about doing the virtual sessions. Uh, by this, we got to know that the best time to conduct these sessions were before lunch. Also, we had come up now with an idea of a breakout room where we can pay more attention to our to our students while conducting the sessions. Also, uh, our lesson plans are uh, well researched and uh, have to undergo a four-step scrutiny so that it can help our students to learn more. So now I would like to ask questions to the um, active teachers that uh, how do we ensure that online uh, learning experience is as fulfilling as the physical education would have been? See, we always believe what Sir Benjamin Franklin has said that you tell me, I forget. You teach me, I may remember. You involve me and I learn. So as a teachers, we at times change our get up so that we gather their attention. We use more creative ways. We have recently started with creative activities, life skill activities as well as fine motor activities. Yes, we ensure personal attention. In each batch, we are three teachers looking after and interacting with kids. This breaks the monotony and engages the children. That's the very reason why we also have children with special needs too. We made it a point that uh, children be, uh, be active with the PE classes and the dance classes. We successfully executed the uh, online uh, sports day, annual day and also competitions so that children learn very nicely and they get a holistic approach and a good overall development. So far we have spoken about challenges and how we dealt with them. But uh, now I would like to know if there are any silver linings to this uh, pandemic also. Uh, I would request Tilika ma'am to answer. So as we adapted this paradigm shift, we have become more technically sound as well as very creative. And one blessing is in disguise is that uh, there are no geographical boundaries now. We have children from other states like Orissa, Uttaranchal, Punjab, different cities of Maharashtra and also from far away Poland. Our association is such that parents want their children to stay with us even wherever they are placed. One very important thing is that uh, special need children are with us and they are attending the classes with the normal children and it is helping in their social skills, apart from the academic, uh, we can say. And very, very important thing is, even parents are getting to know the preschool methodology in a correct way. That's the biggest silver lining, what I can say, for the teachers. Uh, in the end, to sum up, uh, I would like to ask Navdeep ma'am that, uh, what is your appeal to parents as far as uh, online school is concerned for the age group of 3 to 5? So, as a mentor, I just wanted to request each and every parent who are having the pre-primary children with them 3 to 5 years of age, don't stop their learning. These are the basic foundation years they need to attend some guidelines to learn new things in their life because this is a time when their social emotional development is going to be happening when their brain development is going to be happening so they need to attend some classes to be on certain guidelines if you have any problem related to technology related to fees related to any kind of thing please directly come to us we are ready to help you don't stop your child education it is very very important